my fellow ladies, my fellow wives, <laughs> my fellow girls, my fellow women, especially to married ones. Most of them, some of them nowadays stay away from their husbands or should I put it their boyfriends but mostly I'm talking to married people both women and men from my experience also from my fellow friends the married ones I've been talking with so we usually share so these are the reasons why some women stay away from their husbands the reason why they do not want to stay to stay next or near their husbands most of the times hello guys welcome back again to my youtube channel it is your lady again here now in Mpanga as always if you are my new subscriber please feel much welcomed you are in the right place if you are my returning viewer you are just okay you know how we do it here so feel much welcomed as always guys i told you all already this channel will be only about vibes only positive vibes we teach each other you can also teach me there on comment section or if you have a channel you can direct me to your channel so that i go there and get some lessons one or two or three or more so feel much welcomed so let's get into the story but before we continue guys please i'm requesting kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel like view and share with your fellow friends please feel much welcomed <laughs> Number one, <laughs> some men they are not even they cannot even say sorry when they are wrong. They just want to to turn everything upside down. They don't want to talk about the mistakes they did. They know very well that they did some mistakes, but they cannot admit. They cannot say I'm so. They cannot say sorry. Some of them saying that born were not born to accept mistakes. Who told you that? If you think you are you are not born to accept mistakes, go stay with your mother. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry to say this, but this one I'm also sharing even with my own brothers. Yes, they are not yet married, but they are going there. They are going towards that that direction because one day they will just get married. Please, if you are wrong, my friend, my brother, my grandfather, my father. If you are wrong, say sorry. If you cannot say sorry, go stay with your mother or your sister. Go marry your mother or your, your sister. You cannot just take some some uh, daughter of someone from somewhere. Then you come live with this lady. Then every time you do mistakes, but you cannot admit. Who are you not to admit your mistakes? You, you expect this girl or this your wife or this your girlfriend to uh, admit all the time that they are sorry anytime they do anything wrong even the simple ones you just want them to accept that they are sorry even the ones which are not mistakes you just want to make them to be become big mistakes but for you you can even do the ones you cannot even say before you are people even before anyone even even sorry even before you are god you know very well you did something wrong but you cannot admit you cannot tell your wife or your girlfriend i'm sorry my friend always be ready to say sorry yes saying sorry is, that does not mean you are does not mean you are weak you are wise but if you keep on ignoring or just want to stay with someone's daughter without telling her sorry and you are in the wrong direction or doing wrong things my friend go stay with your mother go stay with your sister go marry them those you are female relatives don't put us here with mistakes mistakes and cannot admit you are also human beings the same way you are girl or you are wife is a human being you have to admit say sorry if you are sorry if you know say sorry if you are wrong okay okay my friends okay my fellow not my <laughs> okay that's mistake number one the reason 
these men do and makes their and makes their wives or girlfriends to stay away from them. They cannot admit even one day after doing something wrong. Please learn to say sorry. Saying sorry does not mean you are weak, my friend. You are wise. Say sorry and apologize. Mistake number two. The mistakes that these are our fellow, not our fellow, I'm sorry, I'm talking to men. The mistake, these are our fathers, these are our brothers, these are our, uh, our husbands, or these are our grandfathers are doing. They are always, they only care about themselves in a relationship. My friend, some men, they just care about themselves. Isha now, they're just buying, example, if they, they decide to buy for themselves, what they, they can only buy for themselves. They cannot even think of their wives or their girlfriends. They are only caring about themselves. That is bad of you. Try also to care for your wife or your girlfriend. And remember you are the one who brought that that lady to that to your house. So whom do you expect to take care of her? And they can go outside. I know there are some men outside there willing to take care of them. So if you are just caring about yourself, you just find your gay lady or your wife going outside. And please don't come here and crying for us. And all the time you care only about yourself, you buying your own things, you just talk to yourself, all your mind is for yourself, you think about yourself all the time. My friend, your wife will not stay next to you or she will also be keeping her things for herself. Yes. So always think or care about also your wife or your girlfriend. If you are buying something, please remember also your girl. Come on. If you are if you if you are you wanna go to some outings, take your girl or your wife one day. Not all the time you we care during weekend. We just go out, out, out alone, leaving this wife here or this your girlfriend back the house doing for you washing for you hey eh, is this 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 lady you you are you are made your wives are to help remember we were not even created god removed us from those your rapes so we were to, we are supposed to help you to support you even this house call oh my friend only is this is not it is not only for women you have to come in you can't tell me from Monday to Friday if I'm staying in your house, I don't I still don't have a job. You can't tell me I'm doing all their house but then weekends, you are just there sleeping, watching. You cannot even help me. You can even not even come to cook. You can even not even wash. Thank God, the person I am, <laughs> he knows better. So, come on, man. Think about your wives or your girlfriend. Don't think about yourself all the time. Remember, wives are to support or are, or are to help, not to do everything. They are not mates. God never created women to be mates for you people. So think about your wife or your girlfriends. Again, eh, number three. <laughs> This one, this one is the main <laughs> for some ladies or for some, I don't know. But this one, number three, some men are not romantic. <laughs> my brother or my father or my grandfather, if you know you are not there and you are not romantic, your wife or your girlfriend will not stay next to you. How can you just stay next to a boring husband, a boring uh, a boring boyfriend? You are just there sitting like you are both men. How? <laughs> Be romantic. It's only not only making love. Sometimes surprise your girl. Take her out to buy her good things. Cook for her when she's cooking in the kitchen. Go there, talk with, talk to her. Yes, you know these things now. <laughs> don't be a boring husband or a boring boyfriend. <laughs> you don't. We do. We don't. We don't want. We don't need boring boyfriends. Be romantic. Okay. <laughs> You can, you can even look for those romantic, uh, you can learn from romantic 
your fellow men after they ask them how they are doing for their wife. Hey, stop being uh, boring as bad. <laughs> Be romantic, my brother, okay? That's the main for me. <laughs> For most of my fellow ladies, yeah, we romantic, my brother. Okay, mistake number four. The mistake, these are our fellows, not our fellow. Sorry, all the time I'm talking about fellow, fellow, I'm talking to men. The mistake these men are doing, again, that makes their wife or their girlfriend to stay away from them. These men, they are, these men, they are not taking care of their body. Some men cannot, can even go. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking to some men. Not my mind is the cleanest. It's the cleanest even than I am. Hey, hey, my husband, hey, my friend. When I started living with this person, I was even I was even afraid. When he when he came in, when he was away and returned home, eh, hey, just wondering whether things are okay in the house. So for me, cleanliness, my husband. So some men. They cannot take care of their body. They are dirty. They can even go two days or one day without taking a shower. They cannot relax. My fellow, not my... <laughs> my brothers, please take care of your body. You are just smelling. There are some men are smelling. They cannot even think of washing themselves. Eh, nyoma kuapa. Tafuta spray. Smell lies. Who told you that it is only ladies to smell lies? Even you, man, you should at least smell lies. Like my husband, when he's going for work, if if you if you give this person a hug, he's smelling nice. He just wants to stay there in his arms. <laughs> the smell is giving out, my friend. You cannot imagine of getting out of his arms. So. Please take care of your body, my brothers. Smell lies, okay? <laughs> the last one, the mistakes are men do. Hey, surely, if you marry your wife, please let your wife be your wife. Don't share your wife with everyone, with your mother, with your father, with your sisters, especially to mama's boys. Hey, did, did you marry for your mother? Please, we hate that thing, especially I hate it. Not that my husband. <laughs> Not that my husband married me for his mother. But um, I told you I'm always or sometimes sharing with my friends, my fellow married ladies. So some men just married their wives for their mothers. My friend, do you think that your mother can pregnant your wife for you or your sister or your father they there is abomination even your mother cannot do that for you so marry for yourself i'm not saying that though this daughter is law to disrespect your fa parents but i'm saying don't everything just want your parents or your mother to be everything in your marriage if you are still young you cannot take care of your wife or you cannot have a voice in your house Go stay with that your mother. Hey, okay? Marry for yourself, not for your sister or your mother. Yeah, that is the mistake some men do. Not all men. Some men married for their they married for their parents. So guys, that is enough for today. Today I decided to talk to my fellow no <laughs> I decided to talk to my my what my brothers. Yeah. So that is the end of my lessons or the end of what i wanted to talk about so if you find my video helpful please share with your friends subscribe like and view my videos guys i have many videos already on my channel please go view them some will make you laugh and you'll but some are funny some are good for lessons for our health yeah, do, do viewing my videos. Okay, that's enough for today. Bye.